Have you ever taken these spectacular views in Lake Sumter Landing, cruising aboard one of the Lake Sumter line boats? Today, my brother Daniel and I are taking the scenic cruise. The cost is only $2 per person. There's a sign that says all four-legged friends must stay on shore. They do have special dates when they have doggy cruise, where you can treat your fur baby to a ride on the water. Here's the little shack where you check in and get tickets. It's located behind RJ Gator's restaurant. No reservations needed. As you can see, they keep the boat dock clean and in tip-top shape. Morning Star and Evening Star are the two boats they have. However, one of them is under repair from getting damaged during Hurricane Ian. Soon it was time to climb aboard. On this day, it wasn't so busy, but take note that on holidays and during school breaks, there may be a longer wait as the capacity is only about 16 passengers. Once the tour gets going, you'll hear plenty of legendary tales, most of which are funny and made up. As you may know, there's a long boardwalk stretching the waterfront and this side is lined with beautiful palm trees. Perfect for picture taking. At the end of the boardwalk, by the lighthouse, you will find Lighthouse Point Bar and Grill, which is a waterfront dining spot. If you're curious what this restaurant offers, I'll link a video in the info box for you to check out. If you want to see views from the air, check out my drone video of Lake Sumter Landing at sunset. It's breathtaking. Here's a clip of a tale about the person who supposedly built the lighthouse single-handedly. In 1871, 1881, Willoughby did exactly that. Single-handedly built that lighthouse. And here's some of the waterfront houses in the lakeshore cottages. There are two bridges to get to Lake Sumter Landing from 466. If there's children in your party, they may get the chance to steer the boat. I wanted to steer the boat. So my brother asked if there are gators around this lake, and the answer is of course yes. Here you'll see a gator resting on the edge of the water. This building is the Waterfront Inn Hotel. Amelia's is their on-site restaurant. Their outside seating has amazing views of the lake and the lighthouse. You can check out my video on this restaurant next. As you can see, don't go on this boat tour if you're looking for factual history of the villages. But if you want to take a fun and relaxing 20-minute boat tour, then I highly recommend Lake Sumter Line. You can't beat the price and the views. Please click like and share this video with your friends. Comment below if you've been on this boat tour. Until next time, my name is Grace Joy. See you in the next video.